सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड प्रेस दी बेल आइकन टू नेवर मिस अनदर अपडेट Auto Expo has been great this year from companies launching new models to the unveiling of new concepts. In this video, we will look over the top 3 upcoming concept bikes in India. The actual production variant might be slightly different than the concept one. TVS Zeppelin. TVS showcased its first cruiser motorcycle concept which they call the bike of future. This belt driven power cruiser features all metal body, lightweight tubeless black spoked wheels, 41 mm golden USD front forks, dual channel ABS, rear mono shock, biometric keyless go, large fox radiator, pedal disc brakes, LED DRL, LED headlight, LED tail light and an all digital instrument console with online connectivity. Powering the Zeppelin is the all new 220 cc single cylinder oil cooled engine with patented integrated starter generator. The e-boost function brings added performance from a 1200 watt regenerative assist motor that is powered by a 48 volt lithium ion battery for boosting power. The engine produces 19.7 horsepower at 8500 rpm and 18.5 newton meter of torque at 7000 rpm with its 5 speed gearbox. The Zeppelin has a claimed top speed of 130 km per hour and had a fuel tank capacity of 20 liters. The production model is expected to arrive in year 2020 and the price should be somewhere around 1.2 lakhs ex showroom. Menza Motors Lucart This Ahmedabad startup company launched their first electric bike at 2018 Auto Expo. The Lucart is designed as a ultra modern urban cafe racer and is priced at 2.8 lakhs ex showroom. The bike can be pre-booked through Paytm Mall app for a rupees of 10000 and the bookings are open until 28th February. The delivery of first batch consisting of 500 bikes will commence from August. The unique thing about this electric bike is that you can choose from 77 different color options for body work. The chain driven Lucart features aluminum trellis frame, WP USD front forks, touch screen instrument console, Magzilla Sporttech tires, 300 mm front disc brake, 230 mm rear disc brake. 17 inch spoked wheels clip on handlebars rear mono shock and four projector leds with circular led drl the bike is powered by an air cooled brushless dc motor which makes 18 kw that is 24 horsepower at 3000 rpm and 60 newton meter of torque Lucart can clock a claimed top speed of 100 km per hour with its 72 volt lithium ion battery with BMS system that has a charge time of 4 hours and capable to fast charge in 90 minutes but the range is quite disappointing of 100 km in city and 150 km in highway the curb weight is around 153 kg The Lucart also comes with a dynamic safety system which provides notifications on speed limiting and battery drainage along with an automatic motor off and button for launch control. Also the charging services are free at authorized charging stations and currently covers free charging station at Delhi Agra Expressway and the company is planning to cover 10 major highways in the time of 6 months. Mflux Motors 1 When launched this is going to be India's first electric superbike Mflux is a Bangalore based tech startup company and had surprised everyone by revealing a futuristic design electric bike at Auto Expo 2018 This all electric chain driven sport bike is developed completely in house in India and is equipped with Pirelli Diablo Rosso 2 tires steel trellis frame dual 300 mm disc brake with brembo calipers rear 200 mm disc brake fully digital smart 6.8 inch touch screen console with call connectivity gps navigation wireless connectivity front headlight with 6 leds with two lower leds for high beams 43 mm all in front usd forks 
बीयर फोर्टी सिक्स एम एम गैस चार्ज मोनोशॉक डुअल चैनल ए बी एस सिंगल साइडेड स्विंग आर्म एल ई डी टर्न इंडिकेटर्स एमिटेड ऑन साइड मिररर्स एंड आई पी सिक्सटी सेवन डस्ट एंड वाटर रेजिस्टेंट इलेक्ट्रिकल कंपोनेंट्स द बाइक कैन डू जीरो टू हंड्रेड किलोमीटर पर आवर इन लेस देन थ्री सेकेंड्स एंड वेट्स वन The pre-orders will begin from few months with 190 units for India while the rest is for the international European markets. The top speed is of 200 km per hour and had a range of 80 km in track, 150 km in highway at a speed of 80 km per hour and a 200 km range in city traffic. The bike is expected to launch in April of next year and test rides will start from next 6 months. There will be two variants available. One is for 6 lakhs and the other for 11 lakhs. The load capacity is of 200 kg. The AC induction motor is powered by liquid cooled 9.7 kilowatt hour Samsung lithium ion battery which produces 60 kilowatt of power but limited to 53 kilowatt that is 71 horsepower and 84 newton meter of peak torque at 8400 rpm but is electronically restricted to 75 newton meter The battery can completely recharge in 3.5 hours and can charge 0 to 80 percent in just 30 minutes with its patented warp fast charger. Yamaha Hyperslash. Though Yamaha has currently no intentions in bringing Hyperslash in India, but Yamaha need to provide better alternative than the slow selling FZS and FZ15 model. This aggressive styling Hyperslash will first launch in Indonesia and is powered by 149 cc single cylinder engine producing 16.09 horsepower and 14.3 newton meter of torque. It weights 135 kg and has a claimed top speed of 130 km per hour. The Hyperslash features Pirelli Diablo Rosso 2 tires, USD front forks, Pedal disc brakes on both ends and is built on delta box frame from R15 version 2 and M slash